each month when I try to make something, I try to give it like a theme. Like, you know, whatever holiday might be in the month, I like make something that's related to it. But I'm actually struggling because both St. Patrick's Day and Easter are in March. So you know what? I'm just gonna make the best of both worlds here. Today, you're going to be making a little bit of like a breakfasty type meal for some reason. I don't know why, it's nighttime, but we'll, we'll go with it. I'm gonna make some like country potatoes to go with the St. Patrick's Day thing. Cause you know, Irish people, potatoes, it's like, huh? And then I'm also going to make scrambled eggs because you know, Easter eggs, you know, totally relates to Jesus. It's gonna be strange because how would you do that on a grill? Let me tell you something. This is a Lion Premium Grill, which means you can basically make anything on it. But in this case scenario, I'm going to be using my good old trusty griddle. So right now I'm cutting the potatoes, obviously, so that we can make, you know, country potatoes. Now I kind of found it weird that it always has to kind of go with a, uh, it's like a square, they're like little square pieces. So the way I do it is, you know, you just cut the potato into squares. It's that easy, honestly. Will I regret this decision? We'll find out. <laughs> It smells kind of like, like a flower. <laughs> that's right, I'm a man, I don't cry. Especially not at onions, that's for damn sure. This is depressing, I want to cry from the onion. You always just hear that. You always hear that, you know, people cry from onions. This is depressing. But anyways, we're gonna just cut it into smaller little pieces. You know, they don't exactly need to be squares. It would be nice if they were like little flat squares, but I'm gonna do my best just to make sure that they are uh, cool. <laughs> now it's time to look at our griddle. The first thing we're going to do is put on some of this uh, Pam non-stick spray. I think that's good enough. We're going to turn on the griddle just to a low temperature. So what we are going to do first is that we are going to put the onions on the griddle. Now let me explain. These will help them caramelize. They'll taste good, they'll taste sweeter, it will make them taste better once the final product comes along. And what we are going to do is apply some olive oil to a bowl. Then we're going to get some of these patatas. Now we're just going to move them around a bit, honestly, just to, you know, soak up some of that good olive oil. After the olive oil, you're going to want to apply some uh, seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever you want. I prefer, uh, Red Robin seasoning, because you know. Yum. So let's just go ahead and just, I love a lot of seasoning. So we're really just gonna like craze it up. And we're gonna twist it around. Now then, the most dangerous part of all of this, the egg. So now we're gonna make the scrambled egg part of the meal. You know, we're, we're searching over to the Easter for a little bit just to you know, do some prep. I'm really bad at cracking eggs, so um, don't get mad at me if I mess this up. Oh my gosh, like a pro. You know, they call them scrambled eggs for a reason. Looking back on the onions, they're starting to get a little hot, so that's good. I, that just means I should uh, hurry up. These babies have been, these babies have been doing quite well for themselves, quite hot. So I'm going to shove them off to the side to make room for their honestly better part, the potatoes. We're just gonna put these babies on. I've been too patient. I'm gonna turn up the heat. Probably not all the way to high. Probably like a medium. It's good. Let's mix them up. They're doing nice. I'm just gonna let them stay in there for a bit. I'll probably check in every two minutes just to make sure they're not, you know, blowing up or anything. It's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna give them a good flip, see how we're looking at here. We left the potatoes kind of near the top just so they can, um, you know, just get a little bit more cooked while we're working on egg. Now, this is egg we're talking about. It's not gonna take long to cook, but we're gonna do our best to ensure that we have the best and safest experience possible. Put the egg on now. Now, this is gonna be a very interesting experience. 
It'll be new for me and it might be new for you too. So let's see. I'm gonna do it very slowly so it doesn't go everywhere. It's egg. Ah, no, don't touch the potatoes. No. Get away from the beautiful potatoes. Flip it. Egg is really just something you gotta watch. I mean, there's not much to it. It could be on for 30 seconds. It could be on for a minute if you're using it correctly. Now this is the breakfast meal I love. I always go to places like Denny's or Coco's and I ask for extra crispy potatoes. They never do it. So you know what? I had to do it myself. We're gonna try the eggs out first because they're probably gonna be like the easiest part. It's egg. I didn't add anything to it. I didn't do anything special. It's plain egg. However, it's kind of funny that you can do it on your grill. Now for the moment I really care about. These dang potatoes. This might take it. I say it many times with some of the food I make. The salmon I've said is probably my favorite. I've said a couple things. This, the egg was good, but it just tastes like egg. I didn't do anything special to it. The potatoes, with that red robin seasoning. Mm. I'd like to thank for watching this. You should buy a line from Go right now because they added a new cool feature, which I will talk about in another video.